The little engines were busy clearing their railway of leaves and broken branches. Peter, Sam, and Rusty often worked together. One day, Rusty helped Peter, Sam to a water tower. And once there, he did goodbye. Peter, Sam felt much better after his long drink. But the trucks were bored. Let's break away! Their loads were heavy and couplings old. One snapped. Faster! Faster! shouted the trucks. A sign read, slow, steep bends and ravine ahead. But the silly trucks never saw it. Then it was too late. Peter Sam arrived at the scene of the disaster. His driver sighed. <sighs> this was our fault. We didn't secure them properly. We'll have to go and get help to pull them out. Mr. Percival will be very annoyed. And he was. You will shun trucks in a yard until I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter Sam's dilemma. Fancy not securing your trucks on a hill. They'll come back to spook you in your special funnel. Woo! And who's to say that you're not afraid of ghosts? Ha! <laughs> ghosts. Things that go bump in the night. Rubbish. Well, I'll tell you a story that'll make your funnel quiver. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty moonlit night. As the engine crossed the old iron bridge, he suddenly lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. He was never found again. But many workmen will tell you that when the moon is full, they've seen the little engine trying to get home. But he never reaches the other side. So what do you think of that, Duncan? Pa, what nonsense! Never mind him, Peter Sam. He'd be frightened if he really saw a ghost. This gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play a trick on Duncan. The next day, he spoke to Duncan's driver and fireman, who agreed. We'll do it tonight. Duncan had to take coal trucks to the slate mines and then bring slate trucks back. Duncan's driver decided, as part of the plan, to cross the old iron bridge. Bridge. Pa, it's as tame as a pet rabbit. But all the same, he kept thinking about Rusty's story. When dusk fell, he was keen to leave. Ugh, if we don't go now, Scarlowy will take my favorite place in the sheds. We can't go until we've collected all the trucks. His driver replied. He could see their plan was working because Duncan was nervous. When night fell, they set off. The moon was full and the mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Duncan whistled and the sound echoed everywhere. Then, ahead, he saw flickering lights. His driver knew that they were only little insects that shine brightly at night, but to Duncan, they looked like an engine. Next, his driver secretly threw a rock from the cab into the ravine below. It's the ghost! Take me back! Take me back, please! When Duncan reached the safety of his shed, he closed his eyes tightly. <laughs> Spooked are you, Duncan? 
No, I'm asleep, wailed Duncan, and he refused to open his eyes. He did, though, when he thought his driver wasn't looking, just to make sure that he was still there. Ha 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 ha!